Hey there. So today I just wanted to talk about this leather sheath and um, this little lanyard that I made for it. So I like this knife, but I didn't like the sheath that it came in. So I made this sheath and I needed to modify it a little bit after carrying it a little bit. It kind of worked. This knife kind of worked itself into uh, the leather and kind of broke it in and so I realized I needed to adjust it. So unfortunately, it poked a hole through the bottom of this. So what I had to do is like this stitching here, this, the tip just poked th through this. So I uh, added a little piece of leather way down in the bottom. I just, you know, carefully dropped it in there and put it in the end so that this was touching that leather and not the stitching. So I had to re-stitch it and I threw that little leather piece in there so there's no real hole there like there was and I added some more stitching around here to prevent um, this part from kind of sliding in any further so I think primarily it rests on the tip on the bottom which isn't good you still want to like pinch it and have it be stopped by other things so this stitching, maybe if I turned it upside down and had the triangle tip that way, um, it would have been you know a little better. Um, but I also added this too, I think. But for right now, it is uh, better to carry no matter what. And I could have brought that in a little bit probably. Like this is kind of looks like it's sticking out here a little more. But. Um, I still like it and I still think it's an upgrade from the other one. There's definitely room in here, but I mean that that's okay, it works for me. Just as long as it's not um easily falling out, which it isn't. It's pretty good and secure in there. So this end also, this little lanyard also kinda helps pull the knife out. Not that I really need it, but it's kind of just something there that is small. And I thought it was really easy to make, and I just tied the pattern on it. And it's actually holding surprisingly well. Like, it, it hasn't moved or shifted or fallen apart. So, yeah, I still really like this knife. It's just like a good, comfortable size in your hand, and it's a reasonable amount of blade to get work done. But um, I still think that this gap in between here, I guess I just have a problem with knives and gaps between the end of the cutting edge and like the start of the grip handle. So I don't know. I just like to get it as close as I can. But still a great knife. Reasonable for the price. It's like $20. So I think it's a great knife. The steel isn't that amazing, of course, but... I mean, you can sharpen it up and put it on a pretty good edge on this thing. So yeah, that just kind of updates, uh, or finishes this update on my knife. Thanks for watching.